What's up guys, Lauren here from NerdCaliber.com and I'm at Otacon 2014 with the one and only Yaya Han. How are you enjoying the convention? Hi guys, um, my goodness, this is my 13th or something crazy Otacon. I've been coming since 2000 and um, it's just gotten incredibly huge. Um, but I'm happy to be here, absolutely. Now tell me about your cosplay. What are you cosplaying as right now? I'm wearing a Nurse Sonico, so Super mm -hmm. Sonico. Uh, and uh, she, you know, the, the obsession began when I started collecting Sonico figures a couple years ago. And um, the Nurse one was the first, co the first figure I collected of her. And I just love the colors. I love that it's turquoise mixed with the pink hair and uh, um, I just really wanted to make something very comfortable that I can wear to a con for a long time and you know it's just like a cute outfit. <laughs> Definitely. Now what is your favorite cosplay that you've done of all time? Um, I always say I don't have a favorite because the whole point of cosplaying for me is the variety and it's the constant challenge. So if I had a favorite costume that I wore all the time, you know, it just like, it sort of defeats the purpose. Um, the, all my costumes are my favorites. They all mean something to me. They all had uh, like a special experience for me. And um, so it's like, it's all about, I think, I don't know, just like finding new characters to portray and, you know. Great. Now, what is some advice that you have for other cosplayers out there? My biggest advice, honestly, is to uh, practice your Google Foo. Practice that Google Foo because even to, to this day, um, I still Google uh, for all kinds of tutorials and materials and resources and techniques and like you can never stop learning and there are a lot of resources available now uh, that were not available when I started 15 years ago so I really try to take advantage of it and uh, so it's like you know even now if I'm looking for the perfect material for a costume I will spend like up to 10 hours on Google in a day uh, you know going through all kinds of websites and you know just looking for that that thing that I need um, and I feel like you can learn just about anything uh, from the internet. <laughs> uh, so that's my biggest advice for sure. Um, another is to make sure that you enjoy the journey of cosplaying. Uh, I think a lot of people now see cosplay as a uh, growing industry where you can make an income, you can possibly do it for a living. Um, and uh, I think some people, they, like, they, they ask me like, how do I, make money with this how do I you know how did you get to where you are and my uh, answer is always that I never set out to do this for a living um, I've been on a very long journey and um, I've enjoyed every step of it and I've you know uh, been through a lot of different challenges with it you know like never knew how to run my own business um, but uh, really what kept me going is uh, the I guess the, the curiosity for uh, the actual creating of costumes and uh, just being a fan. Like I will only cosplay characters that I feel a connection to. Doesn't mean that they have to be characters that I know everything about in and out. It just needs to be a character that I somehow can see myself being and uh, that I sort of uh, have a attraction to. Um, and I think that is why I guess after all these years, I'm where I'm at. Is you know, I've I've been on a journey. I've enjoyed the journey. So enjoy the journey, guys. Well, I'm Lauren here at Otakon 2014 with Yaya Han for NerdCaliber.com. Thanks, guys. We're signing off now.